Hello guys and this is the Russian Genius and in this video I am going to be teaching you how to do the one handed top palm which looks something like that and then we have palmed the card now let me do it one more time so as you can see the four of spades and in the action of placing it down on the table I have palmed the four of spades and this palm has been used for a lot of different things you can also use it for this for instance let's say that we pick the five of clubs and yes it was indeed the five we can remember it and also the spectator and just like that we have palmed off the five of clubs the one-handed palm can be used for a lot of stuff indeed now I have made a tutorial on the one-handed top palm but that was actually a long time ago and that tutorial is not as good as it could have been so here is the tutorial so you're going to be holding the deck just like this and how I'm holding the deck is as you can see my thumb is right here it can be around the center but I like to place my thumb around this corner of the deck so just like this this feels comfortable in my hands but you need to figure out which position of the thumb feels good for your hands as well and then as you can see all these three fingers the index middle and ring finger they're going to be right here on the side of the deck and now it's important that the hand is straight up so it's important that the deck is not beveled like this but it needs to be straight just like that and I know that there are a lot of moves where the deck needs to be beveled like that and that is what most magicians they have been doing but for this move specifically your hand needs to be in this position and it does not need to be beveled so once you are in this grip the pinky finger it's not going to be here but your pinky is going to be on top of the deck close to the corner and if you want then you can have your pinky close to the center but it will get a little bit difficult to do the move if the pinky is closer to the center it needs to be a little bit more to the corner and also you need to have some friction on your pinky if I'm using the word correctly because when your hands are dry then it's difficult to do moves as the top shot I, I was actually hoping to fail when I did the top shot because my hands are a little bit dry but your finger needs to be a little bit sticky so just lick it uh, just like that and once you have licked your pinky then you can place it on top of the deck and then you should be able to do the move in a moment and if you have small hands then I will give you a few tips on the move that will definitely help you and the angles as well so just like that this is how you're holding it and now your pinky is going to push down on the deck as you can see I'm pushing downwards and when I'm pushing then I need to make sure that the thumb is not holding the deck tight if the thumb is holding the deck tightly right here near the top then it's going to be difficult to actually palm the top card and there's also another move I, I'm going a little bit off topic but there's also another move which the magician David Williamson he, sh he showed me it looks something like this and as you can see it pops around the center but that was actually the top card so now we do not have the ace of spades anymore and this is a move that I have not been practicing on but this is just the move that he showed me and this is a really weird move, uh, just something that I wanted to say that you can also do once you, once you have practiced on the one-handed top palm a lot. Once you are pushing with the pinky downwards on the card, 
and the thumb is not putting a lot of pressure because then it will get difficult this will happen now the first time you are doing this move this will not happen the first time you do the move then this will happen all right the card will not be aligned with the hand the first few times you do the move something like this is going to happen and it will take you a few days up to maybe three four months of practice to go from this to this where the card is you know almost perfectly palmed from every angle so that's just something you, you need to know and everyone that is new to magic does have this weird issue so don't be worried if you have that issue all right once the top card which is the palmed card is in this position then you're actually going to palm it so once it's here i mean this does not mean that it's palmed i mean this looks a little bit suspicious so you need to palm it in a way and how you do it is once it's here or let's even say that the card is like this then you are able to actually stretch out your pinky and stretch out your pinky and also the ring finger and the middle finger and when stretching out then you're actually palming the card a little bit more and squeezing it to this part of the hand and then when you let go then you have actually palmed the card and just like that so let's do it once again first of all you do this move now it's not palmed now i stretch out those fingers actually i only stretch out the ring and the pinky finger but if you want then you can also stretch out the middle finger to get the card in the palm position and then you have one handed top palmed the card so in speed it looks something like this and then i have one handed palmed the card now what do you do if you if you have small hands if you have small hands you can either buy a smaller deck that's probably the smartest thing to do it's to buy a smaller deck then you have absolutely no excuses about magic and uh, cardistry and stuff like that or you can do this now my hands are actually quite small uh, they are not the biggest hands i have seen my hands are between small and medium it's not large it's probably somewhere in the center between those two and still i have learned to do stuff like this as you can see and even when my hands they are not as big as i want them to be and you can do some stretches you can just do this and stuff like that and you can stretch out your fingers and whenever you practice for instance the one-handed shuffle then you are stretching your fingers as well and once your fingers are stretched out then the card will indeed fit much better into the palm and just like that here's what you do so let's say that you are performing for this angle then once you finish doing the palm then you are in this position so from this angle that you are watching this looks really good also from this angle and this angle but from this angle you can actually see the card being palmed so that's simply one of the things that you can do you can have the card in this kind of palm so you can one hand atop the card and then you can have it in this kind of palm and then it looks really good from most angle but not from the left side or from the right side depending on which hand 
you are palming the card the same with palming cards from the bottom then you can do the same thing just like that and even if you are palming top cards to the bottom just like that then still you're able to use the same technique anyways uh, so what I was trying to say is simply that you're able to use man this tutorial is so boring yes I know you know I I'm sitting here I'm sitting here behind the camera explaining how to do this and you guys already know this but you're still watching the video and it's 11 o'clock I need to go to sleep right now but I just want to say I am sitting here in the back of the camera trying to explain the move and man I sound so f***ing boring in this tutorial that I'm almost throwing up in my own mouth right now anyways I hope this tutorial was was still good enough and that I was trying I was simply trying to say that if you have small hands like I do I mean you can see the card from here and sometimes from here and my hands they are almost perfectly to fit a card but at, but at the same time they are not uh, normally when I perform I would do something like this uh, seven of diamonds you took a look at it right uh, you can also remember it and just like that can you shuffle the cards and then I get the card into the gambler's cup so that is something that I do sometimes not always and guys I'm sorry for this boring tutorials so there will be many more Thank you guys really much for watching, I really hope that you enjoy this and as always make sure to like, comment and subscribe and man this tutorial is poop, it's not good, I know, future tutorials will get better, I just finished working out. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. In this video I will be showing you a color change which actually looks something like this and then it changes to the six of diamonds.